Today we took important decisions to strengthen the Eurozone. We have endorsed the final report of the task force. We have also found an agreement about the procedure to decide upon a crisis mechanism for the Eurozone. This spring, we overcame a deep crisis of the Economic and Monetary Union. Our next political duty was to draw the lessons for the future to make the European economies more crisis-proof. That's exactly what the recommendations of the task force will do. That's why all heads of state and government agreed with the proposals today as a huge improvement compared to the current situation. Let me highlight the three main elements before coming to the follow-up. Firstly, the creation of a new macroeconomic surveillance framework. This is the biggest innovation. It will detect imbalances and risks like housing bubbles. It will observe the competitiveness of member states. And if a country loses too much competitiveness, action will have to be undertaken, in particular within the Eurozone. I have said before that the Euro has acted as a sleeping pill, especially in good times. We now propose a system of timely awakening. This will enhance confidence. Second main element, a stronger stability and growth pact, improving fiscal responsibility. Compared to the current situation, sanctions will kick in earlier and progressively. Public debt will be taken more into account alongside the deficit criteria. Sanctions will be possible before the 3% annual deficit is reached, if not enough preventive action is taken. And that's also totally new. Moreover, sanctions can be decided more easily. All this will deter bad budgetary behavior. These recommendations, as the others of the task force, are also extremely close to the Commission proposals.